Yo dudes, Jason here, just with another quick tutorial for you guys. Uh, just when going about how to render out our uh, our file. Alright, so I'm just quickly changing the scale so that it just uh, has a full screen, I guess. Um, okay, so there's a couple of ways we can go about rendering. Uh, so if we go file, we can simply hit like export level, and that will export the actual like column that you're working on. So this is how I would go about um, just rendering out different layers and then bringing them into After Effects later. Um, otherwise, we have access to the straight up render option. All right, um, so that's just going to render the current render settings. Fast render to MP4, unfortunately, I can't do. Um, I need to find a file and then successfully install it called FFmpeg. Um, but if you can find it and install it, please, by all means, drop a link in the description below on how to go about doing that. I just really haven't put the time in. Um, but another way we can go about doing it is we could go to our output settings. All right. So here we would just go about changing anything that we might not need uh, or that we might need. Right. So if we had multiple cameras, we would select here what we wanted um, to change. We could name that camera. Um, we can set the frame span. All right. So I'm actually just going to render out like 50 frames um, just so that it's easier to import later on. All right. Um, <coughs> we can also increase the steps if we need to. We can increase the file type um, and we can change like our channel width. Uh, I'll leave it on 8-bit for now though. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I do know that the, the channel width obviously uh, increases the, the depth of the color range. So I'm assuming um, setting it to 16 bits would increase the, the color information, but also the file size. All right, so then I'm just gonna hit render. You'll see it, it rendered uh, in the background and it gives me this uh, flip book, all right? And this flip book allows me to sort of just run through and make sure that I've got everything that I want. All right, so that one's nice and simple. And then I can save it. All right, and then uh, when I choose where I want to go about saving it, let me just move us out of the way. I'll just drop it on my desktop for now, and I get these weird errors, and I don't know why. So we'll just move across and ignore them as best we can. Uh, so I'm going to save it here. Uh, I do need to change the file name at the bottom, so I'll remove one of those points, and I'll just give it a number, um, and I will then say save. All right, so it's going to save those preview frames for me. Um, I can't close this window until it's done and once it is done You'll see then that I've now got my new folder 2 and here are my images. All right, so my tile sequence Dope. Okay, so now when I dive into uh, let me Just quit you uh, when I dive into After Effects. All right, so you'll see that I've already imported um, a layer system uh, just for a technique that I'm going to show you in a moment. Um, so I'm just going to create a folder for that and I'm going to call that example 2 because uh, it's not really something that you would do intuitively but I do want to just show you that there is an option to go about doing that. Alright so that's now all in a folder. Okay so to import now my image sequence I'm just going to make sure that I grab it from the right one because new folder 2 has got fewer frames than the other. Uh, so I'm going to select all of these all right, uh, just Command A or Control A, and I'm not going to worry about creating a composition. I mean, yeah, let's do that. Um, but I do need to remember. Excuse me, words are failing me today. I do need to remember to turn on TIFF sequence option. All right, so I'm going to open that, and um, please don't give me this error again. There we go. Cool. So now you can see this TIFF sequence has already been stitched together for me. All right, so it's a single layer. Right, which is great because if assuming I've done all my animation and I don't need to do anything else, um, sorted, right? I don't need to worry. However, if for whatever reason I want to go about bringing in my images individually, all right, so every single frame brought in individually, um, again, I'm just going to just let's just grab like up to frame, uh, just up to frame 50 for now. So if I drag these down into my timeline composition area, you'll see now that each layer obviously expands the entire width of my workspace, and that doesn't help. I also then have every single one of these layers now listed in my timeline. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to, because all my layers are already selected, I'm just going to click and drag their duration to be exactly one frame long, all right? Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna right click on these layers, I'm going to go to keyframe assistant and I am going to select sequence layers. All right, so I won't turn on overlap. I don't want them to overlap, especially if they're only one frame long. I'll just say OK. And you'll see now that it has automatically just stepped them out for me so that my animation will still run, 
um, but I'm not worried then about um, having to go and do these individually myself, which as you can imagine would be an absolute nightmare. Um, but this does give me the option that if I want to change specific frames or sort of extend certain areas, I now have um, that option to do specific frames, whereas in this option I would need to use the, uh, the time remap function. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show this to you guys. The option is there. Um, just to, to sort of show you how we would go about that. Um, bringing it into After Effects, this is where I would add my audio. Personally, I just prefer doing audio here than Premiere Pro. I'm more comfortable in After Effects. You could obviously do it there as well. Um, visual effects, anything like that, sort of rounding out the final animation before submitting it, excuse me, to a client or for assignments or whatever like that. All right, so yeah, no, just really short tutorial. I hope that it helped and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great evening. Ciao.